type in a, a bracket, then I'm going to type in a 0 and 9, and I'm going to close the a bracket, the square bracket. Now, what we've seen is, what this is, it's a range. It matches characters in the range 0 to 9, so that's any character in here, or any digit, digit character, as a num numeral, <laughs> number between 0 and 9 and, uh, oh, and I have to select global so that it doesn't just do one instance of it so that it goes throughout the entire text and checks for that pattern and uh, applies it so you can see every number has been selected and, uh, okay that's one way of doing it you can do this uh, similar thing with a backslash and D. It does exactly the same thing. Backslash D selects all the numeric digits in the text. And here you can see this is the regular expression. Backslash D. And you select that and put it in your code. Of course, the opposite of that, you can uh, select. I'm going to turn off. What happens here? Okay, I'm going to put it on. Leave it on global. Is if I hit backslash and D, which is in here. Same thing in here. If you have a read there, matches any character that is not a digit character, zero to nine. So every non-numeric number is selected now. So you can see the zero is unselected. The if I just came in here into the text, I could just come into the text in here and put in numbers and you, you see they won't be selected. The digits will not be selected with a backslash and a capital D and you can see that in there. Okay, I'm not going to be able to of course show you every single symbol because otherwise this tutorial would be about five hours long. But what I can show you is another very practical one, is this one. I just double click. And oops, I'll get rid of the D. And I'll double click. Okay, it's called a word boundary. Matches a word boundary position such as a white space or the beginning or end of a string. And this is really handy. Now, for example, if I want to match the word word pattern T H E, like the, so I'm gonna type that in and it automatically went through the sample text because I still have global so it didn't just if it only did one if I took global off it only do one instance of it I leave global on it'll check throughout the entire text for every instance of T the word pattern T H E well, that's very important there's not actually words or letter or, or characters that we're looking for we're actually looking for patterns and so the pattern is actually T followed by an H, followed by an E. It's not the, but it's T followed by H, followed by an E. So, okay. Now, what if I wanted to get all the word patterns that were just uh, T followed by an H, followed by an E, with nothing else around it? Because here it selected them, themselves, again, them. I just wanted the, where the word T-H-E was by itself. Of course, I'd use another word boundary on the other side. So I put this, and there we go. So now it only matches the T H E pattern with a space on either side. So that could be handy if you're looking for, if you're trying to get some information out of a website and you're looking for a particular word or whatever. That's where that kind of thing would come in handy. And if you look, down here, that would be the uh, expression that you'd copy into your uh, code. Okay, let's uh, move on to the another one. Let's see what else we can get. Let's say you have a pattern that you want to match where there's a lot of duplicate of letters in there. For example, there's all these S's. You see this string of S's. So obviously you could just put S, 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 S for each single one that you want to match. You take the global off. So you have four S's up here and it will match four S's. And and uh, okay it will only do one instance of it right and uh, that would be one way to do it or you could um, type one s uh, uh, 
with curly brackets put the amount that you're looking for close it with the curly brackets and it'll do that basically the uh, same thing that's um, one way of uh, getting and of course if you hit global it, it'll look for numerous um, quantities of the same pattern right so the, the, there there were three three instances of four four s's right and here again right? and and in there there was again another four s's and of course that would be the regular expression down there also of course when you do it like this you can do like um, ranges 2 comma 5 so basically what that says is find uh, two or more but no more than five so I'm going to just take the global off so here there's a, a two but here okay if I put global on it, it's just found two found two okay there's no more than five here there is more than it, it looks like it's selected them all but what it's done is it's selected the groups of right so it's selected five then it selected Looks like another five, and then selected another three. So that's basically what's happened. But it's it, it won't select more than five in a row. Okay, so that's a ranges more than two, but less than five, and that would be the regular expression for that. Okay, that would be it for the individual symbols. Like I said at the beginning, there are a few samples down here. For example, this one, if I click on it, it's a simplified example of matching email addresses with capturing groups. Uh, their email, okay, if I double click on it, it'll show up in that uh, edit box. And right away you can see that it uh, grabbed uh, the first instance of a typical email. Now, of course, if I select global, it'll it'll scan through the whole sample text and pick up all instances of the of email format that means a, a set of uh, letters or numbers followed by an at symbol followed by a set of letters or numbers followed by dot and then followed by three uh, uh, more letters and you can see here that would be the regular expression here here that you would uh, select uh, control C copy and put into your paste into your uh, code and then that would uh, scan for all email addresses in a text so you might see where that might be useful for your uh, coding anyway okay just to wrap it up um, what can you use these pattern matching for and these regular expressions? Uh, a lot of different uses. They're really, really handy to extract links and URLs. A lot of those uh, uh, scanners and web page scanners use those kind of things. If you want to specify passwords or parameters, uh, for example, you've seen that uh, certain passwords will say like the password has to be three letters uh, long but no more than nine letters more than three but less than nine letters stuff like that and of course uh, no uh, uh, HTML tags allowed and stuff like that and this is what you'd use uh, uh, regular expressions for uh, you can clean up data that you get in in a form field submit and, and uh, as well of course you can uh, validate email addresses as I've just showed you here in this uh, final example Okay, thank you, and um, that's about it, and uh, if there are any more questions, I guess you can just uh, leave me an email. <laughs> Thanks, bye.